Hey YouTube, so this is the other guy coming to you today. So in today's episode, we are tinkering with this. So I did a test on this. This is my second Icon um, split beam torque wrench. There's a half inch drive and it's really tight. It feels really good in my hand. I really like it. The problem is that it fails miserably on my test at 90 foot pounds, which is about the poundage for tightening the truck's lug nuts. It failed miserably in that it clicked before it reached that mark. And it clicked at about 80 foot pounds, which is 10 foot pound less. So my experience in off-roading and fixing cars is that if, if you tighten something not to spec, and it's lower, uh, well, if, if it's too low, the torque pound, what it is is it'll come off during stressful situations. I've had that happen to me on the road while I was off-roading. One of my, well, actually, two of my lug nuts came off because I was using a cheap uh, Pittsburgh um, torque wrench, and it was out of whack as well, and I didn't know. And that's why I started testing my torque wrenches to make sure that it is within spec. So this one is not within spec. I would not use it if you if you don't know how to tinker with it and adjust it so that it is uh, within its true tolerance, that how it should be with other torque wrenches, don't use it. Being that this is a handyman show, I like to tinker. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make this uh, thing click at 90 foot pounds. And how I'm gonna do that is by observing these holes, right? There is what looks like a Allen screw here. And I think this is an adjustment port where I can adjust the tolerance. So that's what I'm doing, guys. Let's have some fun. So if you can see this, guys, this right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave this off. It's got a little bit of um, epoxy here so that people don't tinker with it. I know, I know, there's a reason why it's taught your pasta there, so that people don't tinker with it. But hey, you know, this is a uh, handyman show, and this is what we do, we tinker. Let's take this out. Okay, so let's go look for a small size hex and see if we could fix into this, fit into the screen. Okay guys, so we found a small Allen wrench that will fit here. So being that, oh, okay, so it does, okay. Let's do 90 degree, okay, and let's go test. Come, come, let's go test. Okay guys, so here we go. First test, after that little tweak. Oh, okay, so <clears throat> it's a little bit over. <clears throat> Two and eight. Okay, that's better than before. All right, so let's tweak this thing down. How I'm gonna do this, release this. Go back over here and go lefty. When you go lefty, it uh, it goes loosey. Okay, this way. If you go righty, it goes tidy and the foot poundage goes up. So here it goes. And you just go in small increments at a time. 125 foot pounds, that's what target it. Well, that's our target area. Here we go. Twenty-eight, hundred twenty-five. Holy moly! Hundred twenty-five, hundred twenty-six. Not bad, Einstein. Hundred twenty-five. That's good. That's accurate. 
Okay, so let's go down to a hundred uh, the 90 foot pounds. Our targeted area for tightening lug nuts. 75, 80, 85, 90. Okay. Okay, that's good. Eighty-eight, that's good. Two foot pounds less. Eighty-eight point seven. Eighty-eight point nine. Eighty-nine point three, that's good. Eighty-eight point seven, that's two pounds less. That's really good. Better than earlier. Okay, so let's test it against the Craftsman. I know you guys are asking, why is the Craftsman your standard? Well, because the Craftsman, it's really easy to go down in increments, making sure that it's accurate. Okay, there. Ninety-two. 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 Okay. So just me, okay? I'd rather have it go up, uh, go above the, uh, just me, just me. Don't quote me on it, but it, this is just my opinion and my opinion only. So when I tighten like lug nuts, I always like it to be that it's at least it's dead on or a little bit over. That's like three inch, uh, three, three foot pounds more. So to me, that's good enough. But this one, I really like. So let's tweak it a little bit more. Let's go to the, to the right, to the right, a little bit more. Okay, just, just a hair. Oh boy, I have to loosen this. Okay, just a hair. And here we go. Okay, 92. 91. I like it now. 90. Oh, God, I like it. I like, like, like. Let's go back to uh, 125. Why do I keep going back to 125? Because half of 250 foot pounds is 125, and 125 is the happy median between uh, 250 and zero. Or, yeah, so that's why I like 120, 125. Okay. Okay, three inch, three foot pounds above. Two foot pound above. <clears throat> that was my fault. <clears throat> That's nice. <clears throat> That's nice. Okay. I can live with that. No, I'm, I'm going to turn, turn it back a little bit a hair. Okay. Okay, just a hair. Let's do it at 125. Lock that mug up. Okay, okay like that. Like that. I like that. Dead on. All right. So, uh, what we're gonna do next? We're gonna go to. Uh, let's go to seventy-five foot pounds. Okay. 
why we're doing this is because uh, <clears throat> if you can make the median of the Ranger accurate, then um, the lower the lower median here, this will never be as accurate as a, as a smaller uh, torque wrench. So it's so you're finding trying to find the happy median between all of these, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do. Seventy-five. Ah. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I like like. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Now I really like this thing now. Okay, so we're gonna do 140 foot pounds, okay? <sighs> Off by six foot pounds. <sighs> Off by five foot pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this because this is rated to 150 foot pounds only. So um, I'm not gonna tinker with this because like every torque wrench, this is at its upper limit. So maybe that's why it's not as accurate there. But let's go back down to 125 again. Okay. Off by four, <clears throat> off by two, <clears throat> off by three, <clears throat> off by two. So let's tweak this down a little bit. I want it to be very accurate. Okay, just a hair. And lock. Get on. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that. I like that. Okay, one more at 100 pounds. No, 90 pounds. 70, 80, 85, 90. Let's do it at 90 foot pounds. Okay, yes. Better than earlier, right? I mean, better than the last episode. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, let's do 50. Let's do 50 just for Pete's sake. 50 foot pounds. Okay. Oh, that was me. That was my fault. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> that's how you uh, tinker with it. There's a reason why this show is called The Other Guy, and it's because we tinker. So I'm going to keep this one now. I'm not going to return this to the store anymore because I've tinkered with it, made it accurate. That's that, guys. So I'm just happy I was able to tinker with this and make it accurate. This is I I uh, I wrapped that little hex screw right here so that uh, I won't hit it. Okay. So uh, 
I can drop epoxy here, but I chose not to for right now. But this is wrapped so that I won't hit it to make it go out of sync. But anywho, this is that, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Boy, I worked up a sweat doing this test. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I really, really enjoy doing this. If you need help with, uh, what do you call it, calibrating your icon, let me know. Maybe we can work something out. Okay, so that's it. Like and subscribe.